Every shot that Kyle Rittenhouse fired in Kenosha in August of 2020 was caught on videotape. That's why he's a free man tonight. There was never any doubt once you looked at the tape that Kyle Rittenhouse acted in self-defense. But for political reasons, prosecutors in Kenosha ignored the evidence and they charged Rittenhouse with murder and threw him in jail for more than 80 days. Then they hid evidence from the defense. It's an appalling, appalling example of prosecutorial misconduct. We asked Rittenhouse about that during our conversation last night. Here's what he said. What did you think of the prosecution? Um, in my belief, the prosecutorial misconduct in this case is ridiculous. They knew I was innocent, but they still decided to bring these charges to make their name, to, to have a name. They wanted my head on their shelf. There's this FBI surveillance plane. May I remind you, it is illegal to surveil US citizens, but yeah. the FBI still had a plane up and then they tried to twist it and say I was chasing down Mr. Rosenbaum. Never happened. And the funny thing is, we were not provided that drone footage until October and they had it way before and the FBI gave it to them and they compressed that FBI drone video and gave it to us. They gave us a compressed version of that file. So they had a, dr a 4K drone that showed the shooting of Mr. Rosenbaum. Yeah. And then, do you know what handbrake is? No. So, Assistant District Attorney Cross had a software installed on his computer called Handbrake, and this is just speculation, but put two and two together, we get a decompressed three, three, I think it's three megabyte file of the drone video when they have an 11 megabyte and he has Handbrake installed on his computer. Huh. We got an extremely decompressed version of the, the drone right. video. So, I mean, in a normal trial, I mean, that'd be grounds for a mistrial right there. I mean, exactly. you have to be provided the same evidence that the prosecution is provided by definition. Mm -hmm. And another very, very, very disgrace in this government is the F with the FBI drone, they called the camera operator of that drone to testify. ADA Binger asked his questions, and then attorney Mark Richards, great attorney, phenomenal attorney, asked his questions. He asked about the tail number, the state objected, and they said he had a TUI letter from the state attorney, and we weren't able to ask him the, the tail number so we can submit our FOIA requests, which are still being appealed right now, so we can get the complete version of that night on the drone video. He wouldn't give us the tail number. They, we weren't able to ask him what the tail number was because of the TUI letter so, that, that we got the day he testified that supposedly disappeared from attorney w Natalie Wisco, no, another great attorney's email. It just completely magically disappeared from her email because the state said they emailed it, but we never got it. So dirty. What do you think motivated Binger? Assistant District Attorney Binger is a corrupt person who just wants to make a name for himself and not look at the facts. I used to be a fan of the prosecutors, not anymore. I believe yeah. there's still good prosecuting attorneys out there, but he is a prosecuting attorney that wants to make a name for himself and he's supposed to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. But he decided he wanted to lie and try to put me in prison for the rest of my life for defending myself. I mean, that must be shocking for you as a kid to realize the system can destroy someone who they know doesn't deserve to be destroyed just for political reasons. It's, it's sickening because this is a case that never had, that shouldn't had, this is a case that has nothing to do with politics, but politics were brought into it for people's own agenda. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.